Hi ladies and gentlemen, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about outliers in a set of data. So let's take a look at the definition first. An outlier is a value in a set of data that is substantially different from the rest of the values. So I have two examples here. Let's take a look at the first one. Uh, we want to select the outlier in the data set. So you see we have a 6 and then 68, 80, 81, 86, 94, 96, and 99. 6 is really far away from the rest of the data. So that is our outlier. For the one right below it, we have a set of data here, 42, 30, 20, 32, 58, 622, 50, and 52. Most of these values are between 20 and 58. The one that is really far away, that 622, is our outlier. It's really far away from the rest. All right, let's take a look at the rest of these. Uh, this top one, I'm looking at some values in the 500s, 800s, 700s, close to 700, 900s. And then we see this one here that is 90. That's really far away from the rest of those numbers that are between 500 and 950. Then let's go to the bottom one here. We have all these numbers that are in the 60s, 50s, there's an 88 in there. And then we have this value that is 10, that is far away from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. So 10 is our outlier. All right, let's do a couple more. Uh, this top one here, we're looking at some values in the 700s, high 600s, 800s. So I'm going to take a look at our lowest value. The lowest value is 528. Then the next lowest value after that looks like it is 688 and then it ranges from 688 then we have a couple of numbers in the 800s here a whole bunch in the 700s so the lowest value here is 528 that is our outlier now you may have noticed so far that the outlier is either the lowest number or the highest number all right so Using that information, let's take a look at this last set of data here. Let's identify the lowest number and the highest number that we have here. So the lowest number, let's see, see a 12, that's the lowest. Right after the 12, there's a 14 that's pretty close to it, um, a 20, a 19, those are all pretty close to 12. Then the highest value is 70, and the next highest one looks like it would be 42. Uh, so 42 and 70 have a huge gap between them. So that means 70 would be our outlier because 70 is really far away from the next highest value. As opposed to 12, uh, 14 is really close to 12, so there are a couple of values that are on the lower end. All right, now we want to take a look at our data here and decide what's going to happen to the mean as we remove the outlier. So first of all, let's identify what the outlier is. Our outlier is five. That's the smallest value here. It's really far away from the next smallest number of 70. And up here at the top here, 95, 93, 91, those values are all really close to each other. So those are not considered the outliers, just the five. So we're gonna calculate the mean with the outlier and without the outlier. So with the outlier, I'm gonna add up all those values and the sum is 601 when we add up all those numbers. Then we want to divide by the number of numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. We're going to divide 601 by 8. And that gives us 75.125 or 75 and 1 eighth. All right, now we want to calculate it without the outlier. So I'm going to take out that 5. We're going to add everything up. So now the sum is 596. I've removed the 5 from the total, from the sum. And this time we're dividing by the 7 numbers, so one less number. And that gives us a mean of 85.14, and it goes on. So you notice what happens when we remove the smaller outlier, our mean increases. Let's take a look at another example. 
All right, so we have our numbers listed in least to greatest order. As I'm looking at the lower numbers, 69 is pretty close to 71, so 69 is not the outlier. However, on the higher end, 653 is really far away from 97 and 94, so 653 is our outlier. And again, we're going to calculate the mean with the outlier and without. So let's add up here the sum including 653 so that we can find the mean. And the sum is 1510. We're going to divide by the number of numbers. And there are 11 numbers. So our mean is 137.27 repeating. Now we're going to calculate it without. Um, so I'm going to take the sum of 1510, 1510, and I'm going to subtract that 653 from it. So that gives us a total sum of 857 for the rest of the numbers. And now we're going to divide by, instead of 11 numbers, we've taken out the outlier. Now we're dividing by 10 numbers. So that gives us a mean of 85 and 7 tenths. So you'll notice when we take out the higher number because it increases the sum so much, it actually decreases our mean. All right, if you have any questions, please tune in to our call or you can send a, a message to me through Google Classroom or email and we will speak soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.